Well, welcome back to Insights. Dave, what do you got for us this week? Well, Brent, I wish I had better news, but it's like we're still not getting it. Specifically, look at all that's going on. Look at the uh, social unrest, whether it's related to politics or it's related to the, the race issues. Um, look at the, the, the forest fires that are out west and they're out of control. Um, look, at, uh, look at North Korea that, again, has surfaced the, in the news in a huge way in the last few days. And, um, and then the hurricanes. It's like we're still like hoping we're just going to magically get out of all of these things. And we're, we're thinking, like, if I can just keep living my little life the way it is, um, then everything's just going to be fine and we'll get through everything. But Brent... What if God is actually distressing our nation? Um, I don't believe he's absent right now. And we got to get this. We got to get this. It's not just simply about your personal sanctification, as important as that is, your growth in Christ. It's not only about that. God is doing all kinds of things. And I think this is a huge thing that is happening uh, right now in our nation. Actually, in 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 6, it says that he troubled them, the nation of Israel, with every kind of distress because he wanted in love to, in mercy to bring them back to himself. And it actually says in that passage, verses 1 through 7, that he did. The people did. The people came back to him. It's awesome. But in America right now, are we going to realize that this is what God's doing? Or are we going to continue to just sort of meander and put our heads in the sand? Yeah. So Dave, it's like you hear all this news and it's overwhelming. And maybe somebody has been sleeping to this, or maybe they're starting to think, yeah, there is something here. So what do they do? How do they respond to this? Well, the first thing I think we need to do is we need to respond in humility. That, like, this is the thing that draws God's presence. It actually draws his heart. It is just simply humbling ourselves. And we don't need to wait for God to do that for us. Again, the, the often quoted passage, 2 Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, we need to take that first step. Mm -hmm. Turning, coming back to him and calling other people too. Like all of the distress that this is creating in terms of, um, you know, people panic because another hurricane like Harvey or, or Irma, that is, could land and cause even more destruction. All of these kinds of things, whoever we know that's bumping up against us, we can speak the words of life to them and call them to come back and, and to humble themselves. You know, when we see major national shakings, it is a, a ripe moment in our nation's history to call people to humility mm -hmm. um, and to speak that out and to share the gospel with people. Amen. Well, I'll tell you, it is time to wake up and start telling people, get out, start having conversations and point people to Jesus. And we got to, like you said, Dave, have that humility, call upon the Lord in this time and day. Thanks for joining us on Insights this week. <laughs>